Well, there is currently a nearly $60 million backlog in the Army Corps of Engineers construction projects right now. So that means projects in our area uh, take much longer to complete than what they should. U.S. Senator David Vitter is joining us live this morning to kind of tell us about a bill that you are working on right, to right. kind of streamline this. And the project yeah. that we're talking about, this is the flood protection projects, hurricane protection projects. Yeah, this would be flood protection, hurricane protection, things very important to us. As you said, there is a huge backlog at the core, $60 billion. That's 10 times their annual budget. That, that's 10 years of budget authority that's just sitting there. And uh, all of us who work on this know from experience that if the projects can be led at the state and local level, same standards, same core standards, same construction, it could be done both cheaper and quicker. So we're developing a pilot program so the core can transfer that authority to lead a project at the state and local, local level. Core would still be involved and again the same project standards. So how would I guess the, the state and local governments or whatnot get their their hands in there. What would they well, initially be doing? Right now, already, they're major partners. Mm -hmm. uh, typical project is 65% federal money, 35% state or local money. So they're already major partners. They're already very involved, number one. Number two, almost all of the actual engineering and construction work is done by private firms anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking about having to build some huge in house capacity. We're simply talking about leading the effort as sort of project. Project manager, which the state and a lot of major local governments that deal with flood and hurricane protection have the capacity to do. Now, why are we seeing so many delayed projects right now? I mean, $60 billion is yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, it's because of this backlog. Uh, six, five, really $5 billion a year budget. $60 billion backlog. And unfortunately, it's a self fulfilling pro prophecy that makes the problem worse and worse and worse because as projects get delayed a little bit, there are lags in construction, costs go up. So it's even more difficult to finish as costs go up over time. So essentially, which projects are we talking about that, you know, I guess could cause the most problems for us in terms of flood yeah. protection, hurricane protection? Well, this would be a pilot, so the particular projects would be up to the core. Okay. Uh, but they would choose at least 12 hurricane flood protection projects. Uh, it could be around the country, but certainly because there are so many in the area, it would impact Louisiana positively. And what has the Army Corps of Engineers said? What's their response been to this bill that you're proposing? They're still digesting it. They're yeah. a, a huge bureaucracy they don't move on a dime right. which is part of the issue part of the problem so yeah. they're still digesting it but I certainly welcome all of their ideas and input to incorporate good ideas into the bill and when will you I guess be presenting this bill or have you presented it already well uh, we're uh, I've filed it so it is a freestanding bill I'll look for any opportunity possible to move it forward probably the most logical opportunity is as an amendment to the so-called WERDA bill water resources development Development Act. We hope to be moving that in a committee I serve on in the next year. I'm also this week sending a letter to the GAO asking them to audit the Corps because there have been some huge problems at the Corps. We saw the debris issue recently, yeah. major debris in levees. Uh, we saw outright corruption issues over the last year. So it really stands uh, to reason that we would benefit from a good overall audit of the Civil Works Division. Definitely. All right, yeah. Senator David. Thank you so much. much for joining us today. Thank you.